this is the iPhone. And this is Macintosh Tips. What's up guys, this is Scooter here with Macintosh Tips. And today I'm going to show you how to do the T-Pain voice effect with your music using GarageBand. All you need is Mac OS X and either GarageBand 08 or GarageBand 09. Now this is very simple, let me go ahead and show you. Pretty much get an audio recording. Now me and EB have uh, fooled around and got some audio recording and it sounds terrible. Let me go ahead and show you. Cat money! Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's horrible. So we're going to add the T-Pain voice effect to, the, to this clip. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to come down here to the scissors, as you see, uh, some heavy editing here, and we're going to go ahead and go to Enhanced Tuning, and we're going to make it all the way to 100. Then we're going to check Limit to Key, and that's it. Alright, so go ahead and click the scissors button to get it away, and you play it back, and you will see the T-Pain voice effect has uh, taken over. Go ahead and listen. Cat money, yeah, 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 I'm on a boat with Macintosh tips. Scooter and E Pizzle, subscribe to us, write and comment, visit the website right now, MacintoshTips.com. So that was a pretty good rendition of T-Pain voice effect, and it pretty much varies off of pitch. Now, I learned all this from Cody Griever. His uh, link is in, link to his channel is over in the description box. He's a musical artist. He's very good at what he does, and he uh, taught me how to do this pretty much. It's very basic. Uh, all you have to do is work with pitch. And I've also heard from him that if you put a beat in here with GarageBand and you mix it with your voice, that it'll even sound better. So have fun uh, using the T-Pain voice effect. I know I have. And uh, peace.